25th Annual Compliance and RegTech Conference, Comply 2019. Five years of Comply, uh, it's hard to believe. We have another amazing conference planned for, for all of you, and I'm incredibly honored and excited to be up here kicking things off. I want to start by thanking the people that made this all possible. So first of all, thank all of you, our great attendees. Some of you have traveled far to be here. Some of you are here for your first year. Others are here for your fifth year. So let's give ourselves a big round of applause. I next want to extend a big thank you to our very generous sponsors. The conference received tremendous financial support from the sponsor community this year, and I think this is a great testament to the vibrancy and uh, the scale and scope of the RegTech space. Um, a lot of this wouldn't be possible without them, so thank you, sponsors. We have over 60 speakers this year with us over these two days. That's a record for Comply. Um, all these speakers will be sharing their expertise and insights. Thank you, speakers, for helping to make Comply so special. Thank you, all your speakers. And lastly, and especially, I want to thank all of our wonderful PerformLine customers. Um, we're honored that you choose to work with us. Many of you got started early this morning across the street at the Arlo Hotel. Thank you for that. You got to do deep dives with our product team, our business intelligence team, and our, our great client success folks. Um, we look forward to continuing to work together long into the future. So thank you, PerformLine customers. All right. Now, if you've been to Comply before, you know that this is not your typical compliance conference. Our goal is to make this more fun than you would normally have at a compliance conference. Uh, in the past, we've surprised uh, and delighted our attendees with things like um, drum lines and break dancers. We've had magicians. We've done seat prizes. I think there's going to be some seat prizes these next few days as well. Um, and our, our always fun Comply socks. Hopefully, you grab some of those on your way up. We've worked hard to bring in atypical, inspirational speakers. We've had the likes of Gary Vaynerchuk here with us. We've had Commander David Baird from the US Navy, who has run fleets of aircraft carriers in the Pacific and also run the famous Top Gun Flight School. And last year, we were lucky to have a Frank Abagnale with us, whose incredible life story has inspired the Catch Me If You Can movies. And he got a standing ovation, uh, which I haven't seen before at a, at a business conference. So, this year will, uh, will, will not disappoint. I, I can assure you we're going to carry on the tradition of making this more fun than your typical compliance conference. Tonight, things get started with a great kickoff party upstairs. Um, I don't know if we'll be on the roof deck, given the weather, but uh, we have a great space up there. It's going to be a lot of fun. And you've probably noticed uh, that we're drawing some inspiration from the Beatles this year with Comply. So we had to hire the premier Beatles tribute band, Strawberry Fields, to get the party rocking tonight. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, in terms of content, we have assembled an amazing variety of speakers. They're, these are the folks that are delivering the most on innovation within their organization, as well as those that are carrying the mantle for consumer protection. Notably, we have Richard Cordray here with us to deliver our industry keynote. Most of you know Richard was the founding director of the Consumer Financial um, excuse me, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Uh, under Richard's leadership, the CFPB returned over $12 billion in consumer repayment. And thus, the CFPB changed the way that consumer finance companies plan for, think about, and most importantly to a lot of us, invest in compliance. Now, what you may not know about Richard is this past November, he came within a few percentage points of winning the governorship for the great state of Ohio. And in his younger years, he was a five-time Jeopardy champion. <laughs> and he did not you know, rely on this controversial force bounce technique that our current Jeopardy champion you know, relies so heavily on. So he's kind of a big deal. We're really excited to have him with us. I'm also very pumped for this year's inspirational keynote, Allison Levine. Allison led the first all-women's summit team up Mount Everest. She has successfully summited the highest peaks on every continent, and she's one of only 40 people to ski both the North and South Pole. As if that's not enough, she's a New York Times bestselling author. She's a highly regarded speaker and expert on things like taking risk and leadership. But if none of that gets you going, she has one more accolade that may speak to you. She's the only person I know with a beer named after her. 
So that's pretty cool. And uh, tomorrow she's going to deliver our inspirational keynote, which should be something to remember. So at Comply last year, you heard me talk, if you're here, you heard me talk about um, the rise of the compliance professional. So the theme we chose was Comply Like a Boss. And it was all about the individual practitioner taking true ownership to create a culture of compliance within their organization. This year, for a theme, we're seeing the power of alliances and partnerships everywhere we look. And it became a very fitting theme to choose Comply Together for 2019. Game-changing alliances are forming everywhere we look these days. And not only between departments like compliance and, co like, I'm sorry, like content controls and marketing or risk and sales, but also between different companies and between different organizations. The spirit of collaboration is alive and well. Global regulators are partnering with one another. This past summer, 11 global regulators uh, headed by the FCA, the CFPB, and the Singapore Monetary Authority came together to create something called the Global Financial Innovation Network. To date, there's up to 30 different global regulators and members involved, and they are meeting on a regular cadence to share information on emerging technologies, to create a forum for joint policy work, and to support an environment for cross-border trials. And the rumor is that they are going to be supporting an international sandbox soon for fintech. So we'll have to watch and see how that develops. Fintechs and banks continue to partner together at an accelerated rate to match the agility and speed of the fintechs with the global brand power of the big banks. Longtime Performline customer JP Morgan Chase and On Deck Capital were amongst the first to create such a partnership for their small business lending product. And later today on an all-star lending panel, we will hear from Noah Breslow, the CEO of On Deck, about that partnership and other exciting initiatives. Another uh, longtime Perform Line customer, TD Bank, has partnered with digital mortgage software provider Roostify, a Comply 2019 sponsor, thank you Roostify, um, to bring automation to the mortgage application process. So these types of partnerships between fintechs and banks have become prolific recently, and the power of partnership will no doubt be critical for these two uh, industry players to accelerate and move to the next phase together. Lastly, large global consultancies are partnering with RegTax to marry the uh, regulatory expertise of the consultancy with technologies like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and advanced analytics. At PerformLine, we're really excited to have announced our first partnership like this just yesterday with a leader in global risk uh, compliance protivity. And this marries perform lines, first line of defense, sales and marketing monitoring, with protivity's deep expertise in process automation and regulatory affairs. Tomorrow morning, Shelly Metz Galloway, the managing director of risk and compliance at Protivity, will help us kick things off with her insights on the industry, the power of partnerships, uh, and other useful findings. And now, as we celebrate our fifth year at Comply, I can't help but feel that we're coming to the end of the first chapter of RegTech, which many have called RegTech is the rise of RegTech, right? RegTech has, in fact, risen for all the reasons that we've talked about uh, on this stage over the years, at other conferences and countless articles, right? We have this wide availability of technology now that is very attuned at solving for the rising regulatory pressure of companies uh, that are regulated like banks and insurance companies um, and helps with the amount and cost to comply. So now the question as we head into chapter two is how big can all this get, right? Will the largest companies in the world support RegTech, onboard it successfully, and not just financial institutions, but what about other regulated industries like healthcare, like the new cannabis industry that's forming quickly, or the hyper growth gig economy? So we are beyond the adoption phase for RegTech. We're entering the second chapter, which we're calling RegTech at Scale. In this new chapter, scalability with a broad-based solution will be key for RegTechs to be successful. You can no longer have a point solution or be a one-trick pony. Right? Your value proposition needs to solve for multiple use cases across multiple customer types. And at PerformLine, we've been hard at work on scalability for a long time. 
We set out to build a platform that solved for compliance monitoring across every channel of customer interactions. And to date, that's primarily been four channels, web, voice, email, and chat. Until very recently, where the team is very excited to announce just last week that we've added our fifth channel of coverage to the PerformLine platform, social media monitoring. And this, we think, is going to be very big. So now, within the PerformLine platform, you can monitor and remediate all those tweets, posts, reposts, mentions, and shares, and not just coming from your own internal marketing folks, but if you have an independent agent network, we can monitor their communications on social, third parties and affiliates that are representing your brand, as well as influencers, both paid and otherwise. Our technology performs daily discovery across Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and more, leveraging our AI-driven rule engine with our risk analytics to help you discover where risk lurks and remediate it quickly. You're going to have the opportunity to learn more about social media monitoring and the risks in this channel throughout these two days. We've got a couple of great sessions planned. But I also would encourage any of you that think you need more coverage in that channel to stop by the PerformLine booth at the sponsor hall to ask any of our team for a demo of the new product. It's very excited, and we're proud of the, the work that went into it. Now, before we start the conference in earnest, and I, I, I leave the stage, I did want to come back to this Beatles theme and just give you all a little context. So part of the culture of our company is music. There's always music playing in our offices. We have Sonos speakers in every corner, and anyone can DJ off the Sonos app. And to my surprise and delight, given the average age of the PerformLine team, a lot of classic rock has been playing this year. And it turns out this is a big year for classic rock. This is the 50th anniversary of Woodstock, summer 69. It's also the 50th anniversary of the Beatles' Abbey Road album. And I got to learn a little bit more about the Beatles as it's been playing. And the Abbey Road album is widely considered one of the greatest rock and roll albums of all time. And the reason is interesting. So it is technically mastered beautifully, and it was a big advancement at the time. But it's also an album where like, none of the songs on that album would have been considered big hits on their own. But as a compilation, and together they build off each other, and when listen to that whole album in its entirety, it was really groundbreaking back then. And it's a, it's, a, it's a perfect example of the collection being greater than the sum of the parts. And, and that inspires us for how we think about the next phase of RegTech. Right? All of you here at Comply, you're all the experts, you're all the innovators as individuals. But by working together in partnership, is the only way we can reach the greatest outcomes and potential of this, of this new sector. So let's celebrate that idea over the next couple days by networking with each other, part, participating in the discussions, uh, and embracing these sessions with a collaborative mindset. So I hope you guys have a lot of fun. I know I will. Comply together. Thank you for being here.